In activity 4a, we are going to learn how to actually do the verb of photoshopping without using the Photoshop software from Adobe. Um, what you'll notice is that the verb has come into use sort of like web searching is now called Googling, sort of like facial tissue is now called Kleenex. Uh, they're all named after brands or products and they're just common words now. So we're going to Photoshop this poor lady right here. We're going to Photoshop her right out of the picture and we're going to take her legs and her boots as well. And uh, this, so this is why it's 4A. 4B is going to Photoshop somebody into a picture, but for now we're just going to Photoshop her out of this picture. And in order to do that, we need to get really, really used to using this clone tool. And so when I mouse over it, it says clone tool. It looks like a wooden stamper, which I don't really understand. It doesn't really have any bearing at all on the actual work that we're going to do. And when you bring it over your picture, your photograph, what you will discover is that it has the big no symbol, the circle with the slash through it that says, no, you can't do that here. And if you click, you truly can't do anything. And that's the reason. Uh, the reason for that is because the clone tool is a copy and paste tool. It's a two part tool. And therefore, you haven't done the first part, so you can't do the second. So for starters, what I want us to do, I'm just going to zoom in here using the plus sign on my keyboard. And uh, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to take his face and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it up here onto these bricks. And so my default uh, brush is still the default. My size is still at 20, which again are the defaults. And when I hold down control on my keyboard, you'll notice that the mouse changes. I still have the stamper tool beside it, but it sort of looks like the sniper crosshairs from a video game. And I'm going to click one time, let go of the keyboard, and then let go of my mouse and just sort of slide my mouse off to the side. And you'll see that the circle with the crosshairs is still where I clicked and left it. That's my copy from here choice or selection. And then I'm going to paste it over here with a long click and drag. So I'm going to click and drag 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 and drag. I'm still dragging. I'm still dragging from that very first drag. I'm still dragging. I'm still dragging. I haven't lifted up my click yet. And so I've done one long click and drag. And you can see that as I move my mouse on where I'm copying it to, it's also the circle and the crosshairs are moving where I copied from. That's how it works. Okay. So if I keep going across, you'll see I start picking up the next fellow as well. And the crosshairs show me exactly where I'm copying from. Now, the other way to use the exact same tool is instead of doing a really long click and drag, we can just do a series of clicks. So I'm just going to go a little click happy here. Click, 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 click. I'm just going a little bit nuts with the clicks. And what you'll see is a whole series of noses, some partial eyes, and more noses, and another partial eye, and more noses. So what's happening here is that the clone tool is literally taking that circle and every time I click, it's taking the information from there and putting it there. Now I have sort of a fuzzy brush right now. If I change that to a hard circle, then when I click it, it will literally put the entire circle there just as if um, it was a copy and paste, which ironically, that's exactly what it is, is a copy and paste. So I'm just going to go back to the brush that I had before. Okay, yep, yeah, still working. I'm going to control Z that, which is also edit undo, you can see. And <clears throat> if you want to see an undo history, that's this yellow arrow tool over here. And you can go back and see all the cloning that we've done. And as a matter of fact, I can go right back to the beginning. So this is way back at the beginning. Yeah, undo one more, undo one more, undo one more, undo. And now I'm back at the base image. So this is just getting you familiar with the different ways that we can 
Uh, I'm just going to go back to my finish. So here's all the noses uh, that I made with the slightly blurry brush. Here's all the noses that I made with the hard edge brush. And this is my giant click and drag where I just did a click and drag. Those are the different ways we use the clone tool.